Okay, back inside eFile Cabinet Online, the benefits of templates is to put everybody on the same page when it comes to filing things. There's a uniformity there. And let's go into, for example, the Human Resource Cabinet. And in the cabinet, you can see the many drawers representing the different employees. Each drawer has the same exact folder structure. So if I go down to James Wilson down here, you can see there's five folders. In the permanent folder, there are seven subfolders. If I were to go up to Paula Taylor's drawer, I would see the exact same folder structure. And so these folders actually exist. They were created from templates. I can go into any of the folders and you can see there are files or documents there. You can see there's profile information here. So where do I create these? How do I create these folders? Now you're looking at five folders here. I'm going to go up to the hamburger menu, the main menu here, and we're going to go down to the admin button and we're going to go down to templates. Now these are my template libraries. What is a library? A library is basically a subject that contains templates that are related to the subject. Now we're talking human resources. This is my human resource library. Here's my employee template. Here are the same five folders that you saw that were applied in the HR cabinet. And you can see in the permanent folder, you can see there are the seven, there are the seven subfolders. And so I'm going to show you how to create these. It's really simple. So I'm going to go into the accounting library. I have an accounting individual sub library. And there's my tax client individual template. And you can see here I have a 216 folder and I have a bunch of subfolders you can see here. And so when I create a new pretend tax client, this is the template I will apply. And I can either apply one at a time or mass apply. And we'll show you how to do that later. So as I go into any of these subfolders, you'll notice also here's a predefined document name. And so you can create as many predefined document names under source documents here. You can see I have a, a bunch of different examples of source documents. So let me show you how easy it is to create. I'm just going to go and create a new library. I come up to the new button. I click on library. I'm going to call it 01 demo. And then the next thing I want to do is I want to start creating my first template. Now how do I do that? Two ways. I can come up to the new button and go down to template or I can right click and I'll do that from now on because it's right at my fingertips. I love the right click functionality. New template. So now I have a new template. Now I can name that template whatever I want. I'm just going to name it a demo template. Hit the enter key. Now I want to create my first folder. So I left click, right click, and there is folder. And so again I can call this um, folder 1, enter, come back up here if I want another folder vertically in line with the first folder I right click new folder and I'll just call this folder 2. I can come back and edit these names if I ever need to It's very simple to do that and so you can see rename it I can delete it okay so now that's how you create folders now if I want to create a subfolder in here then I just identify the folder by left clicking, right clicking, new folder, and so this is my subfolder. And it's that easy. Now, before I go into setting up predefined document names, when I look at this folder here, notice to the very right, this is your detailed menu. This is where I can actually set permissions on a template. So that if I have a cabinet with permissions already set up in a cabinet, then I set permissions on the template, when that template is applied in that cabinet or in that drawer, I should say, in the cabinet, these permissions will supersede whatever I might have set up in the cabinet. So notice you do not have to worry about setting up permissions for admin users. They again can do and see everything. So when I actually go to add permissions, it's just going to show me my standard users. And so if I click on this Ashley standard user, I'm identifying that person and I can come down to the bottom here and what level of permissions do I want to put on this template. Okay, so let's say I want her to be able to view and edit this 
anything that goes in this folder when this template's applied. And then I can push it down, and I can come down here then and simply click on Save. Okay, so notice that now Ashley is identified as a standard user that has permissions at this template level. Now, if I have a group of people, I can add groups here too. So let's come down here. Let's say this is the accounts payable group, and I give them view, edit, delete permissions, and push that down and save it. Now, anyone who's a member of the group will automatically inherit this level of permission when this template is applied. Again, at this level, if someone in the cabinet is given, let's say Ashley has been given permissions in a particular drawer for view only, and it has the same folders, when I apply them as a template in this particular folder, not this one, but this folder, she will have view and edit permissions. All right, the other thing you can do at this level is set re retention. That's the other button here in the detailed menu. And so I can enable it retention. Let's just go down to this folder instead and enable retention by clicking this button here. And this is how you apply it. And so let's just say a specific retention date of five years. And at the end of the five years, I want the documents purged and protected from anyone from editing or deleting them and saving it. And so now when I apply this template, none of these folders up here will have retention on it, but this folder and any documents in it will have a five-year retention. And so you can do that also at the level of setting up a template. Now, predefined document names. Again, right-click, go down to New Predefined Document Name, and I can say that, let's say this is a... If we're talking tax, a W-2. Okay, now do I want a date stamp on it? Okay, do I want it on the left or right side? Depends where I put my cursor. So let's put a date stamp here. So now I have a date stamp for that first predefined document name. And again, I can put as many predefined document names in there as I desire. So that is how you can create template. They're very easy to do. You can also delete those templates simply by doing that and hitting OK.